Hey everyone, this is David, a creative from Miami, Florida. In this channel, I'll be giving you tips on design and how to use tools such as Cinema 4D. As you might already know, Cinema 4D is a great tool for 3D rendering and animation. Having an infinite background just as the image we see here gives a nice clean look to your projects. How do you make one? So with a few simple steps, I'll show you how for your next project. All right. So here we are in Cinema 4D. If you notice, there's two tabs on the left. The first tab is basically the same project where we saw that 3D render image. We're basically gonna recreate it. So if you notice here on the right, we have our cube and the lights. So I just have them invisible right now. And over here, we have our material. So to create an infinite background, you have to start off with a floor. So here we have our floor. And also we have to create a background as well. So here we have both of our objects. All right, now we have to create a new material. So I just double clicked on the material manager over here and I double clicked on the material. Now we have to deselect the reflectance because we're gonna be focusing on the color section. First, we wanna make the texture a gradient and then we're gonna double click here where the gradient is. All right, so we're gonna be focusing on the type and also the gradient colors. So for the type of gradient, we're gonna select a 2D vertical gradient. If you notice, it's vertical. And now we're just gonna change the colors. We're gonna make the same purple, just as in the other project. All right, so if we see here, we have our hue, saturation, and brightness. So for the hue, we have 260. For the brightness, we have 50. And now we're gonna have 75 for the value. So basically we want a lighter side on the left and a darker side on the right. So we're just gonna change the saturation right here to 50, just like the other one. And then for the value, we were, we're gonna make that 50. So just a little bit lower than the, the other one. So if you can see already, we can see the gradient, you know, the darker and the lighter shade of purple. So we're closing this and we're just gonna drag the material onto the background and duplicate it by pressing Control and we're dragging it down to the next layer. All right, so for the floor tag, I mean, for the uh, the material tag for the floor, just make sure it says frontal or it says projection. So select frontal for it. So if we render this out real quick, we're gonna notice that it's it's not looking quite how we want it to. So we have to do one more step to get the look we want. If we right click here where the floor is, we're gonna select one of the render tags, the compositing tag. And with the compositing tag, we're gonna deselect one of these options. So we're gonna deselect self shadowing and we're gonna select compositing background. All right, so once we have those two things uh, set, I'm just gonna bring back the, uh, the cube that way you can see it here, and also the uh, the lights. And with that, we're just gonna render this out. I guess we're just gonna wait a little bit. So far looking good. Everything looks consistent. And uh, yeah, so basically those are the steps on how to make an infinite background. Hope you guys learned something and hope you guys use this for your future projects. Thanks for watching.